Hallelujah. Now, the problem is that if it is unfortunate for you, you can know what instruction was given in the realm of the spirit for your defeat by the patterns that happen. To others, it is not sickness, but they will never make it. It doesn't, if you try to help them and you are not powerful, that altar turns to you and fights you. Have you seen people like that? Now, this is where sometimes the prophetic makes a mistake. So they say certain things like, ah, you have this lady or this guy or this friend or this boss or this um, um, employee brought bad luck. They are not lying. They are trying to explain that the people were innocent. But they do not know that every time men come together, they bring, it's altars that come together. It's not just individuals. When the devil wants to destroy you, he looks for what is deficient based on the speakings of the altar fighting you and finds another person who has a speaking that will produce a double problem and bring both of you together. Now, you may not know what the confusion is about. Beyond men, men are conveyors of altars and these altars carry instructions. Are we together? Do you believe what I'm, I'm teaching you? This is very powerful. So you find out that there are certain altars that are like embargoes on people. You, you, you become part of a business. The business starts going down and it's not a product. I'm not, now listen, listen, listen. There is a place for lack of diligence and non-compliance to the laws of success are we together my discussion is with respect to the fact or based on the assumption that all other factors like diligence and hard work is in place are we together because if you are lazy perpetually even that act of perpetual laziness is sponsored by an altar is supposed to keep you non-productive for a reason there are families as soon as someone rises everybody starts becoming sick and the nature of the sickness is such that it will gob all the money and until they get into debt then something happens either the person dies or many other people become sick once there is poverty nobody becomes poor once they don't have money or nobody becomes sick once there's no money but let a breakthrough just come. It's like an alarm system in the spirit and things begin to happen. Some of you keep wondering, why is it that it is when certain things happen? It's like there's somebody watching me. It is not somebody, it's a law. The law is precise. It does not get tired. Don't allow ignorance destroy you and, <clears throat> well, hallelujah. Just when your boss wants to lift you, this altar strike again and the devil uses your face to oppress the man. He wakes up in the morning because he does not have spiritual intelligence. He assumes it is you. He just comes to the office. Sad, you said I should meet you. Don't come to my office again. And you are wondering, what did I do wrong? My brother, it's not what you did wrong. It's what was there before your arrival. That if you do not understand and deal with, you will live a defeated. You can be jumping and say, I'm born again. You are right. But you see, activating your liberty is based on rules of engagement. Who is learning? You detect the presence of altars. By the consistency of patterns consistency of negative patterns i have seen people who either by their own making or because god brought them into a family where they enjoyed a covering their lives began to speak such profound blessings you would see that the woman is only cleaning her job maybe she did not go to school she's only a sweeper but do you know, the day she's sweeping, that's the day a big man will pass and say, I, I like the way you are sweeping. I've been thinking of someone to bless among the sweepers. How many children do you have? Four. Send them to me. I want to sponsor them. And you see that happen. By the time you are angry and say, let's move her to another department. You move her to another department while she's scrubbing the toilet. The man who will help her comes to ease himself again. Is once you see consistency, this is what Jacob carried. 
Laban said, no, we switch this thing, the result is still the same because there are patterns and it is a product of altars. Laban tried to cheat him. Laban tried to double up. He did not change anything because there is an instruction. They are taken for a prey and none say restore. 